Hello everyone, this is Gail from Gail's Upstairs Studio. I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to show you the process that I went through to do this painting. And at the end of the video, stay tuned because I'll show you what I'm going to do with this painting. For the materials today, I'm using all Daniel Smith. I don't generally use all Daniel Smith, but I'm going to do that today. This is a palette I have with my Daniel Smith colors in it. You have seen in past videos, I also have it in this box. But for day, today, I wanted to use my studio palette. It makes it a little easier. I taped it down to this cutting board with regular painter's tape. And I used two sizes of brushes, a four and an eight. And two watercolor sticks. I hope you enjoy the process.
this is what I've done with it. It is matted and framed. I purposefully, when I painted it, painted it on a 10 by 10 piece of watercolor paper, knowing that the opening of this mat was eight by eight, and that is so that the flowers would go right off the page, and there would be no glaring white space around the edges. I signed the bottom, and I also went back in after filming and realized that I hadn't put a center on this flower, so I took care of that. And it is gonna be a birthday present for someone coming up pretty quickly. This person had been over here um, recently and had seen this piece that I had done quite a long time ago, a couple of years ago, I think. And she was very interested in it and she liked the colors and the flowers. And I kind of put her off because I've never been all that happy with this. That's why it's not framed. It's a little flat and I've come a long way since then. And so I don't know if you can tell the difference, but there's a little bit more dimension in these flowers. My technique has gotten a little better. So I decided I would revisit this one and make her a new one for her birthday. I hope she enjoys it, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.